hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing <laughs> because we have two unboxings now i promised you guys this video a little bit ago i do apologize about the delay you know life happens so with that said no further ado let's go ahead and get into these i hope you're all having a wonderful wonderful day now i told you guys over at, um, last year during Black Friday, I went and spent a couple of bucks over at Joann's. They were having a 50% off sale and I grabbed two of their kits. So I'm going to show you those two kits that I got today. So we're going to go with the biggest one first. So what is it? It's peanuts. Isn't it cute? We're going to have to zoom you in. Bloop. There you go. So it focuses. So it's peanuts. And then this is a partial, and again, it's by Diamond Dots. Now, like I said, I've had these since uh, Black Friday, and I've been meaning to unbox them, but look, listen, the way my life is set up, things got a little crazy after Thanksgiving. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get into these. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. It is it is going to be positive today here in North Dakota for temperature, and I'm so I'm trying to stay positive, okay? So uh, unless it's for the Rona, because no, no. Anyways, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this. It's just a little tiny kit, just some little tiny drills. All right, so that's all that's in the box. I'm not seeing a tool kit. That's all. Oh, okay, it's, it's in there. So let's straighten this out a little bit. Our canvas looks to be in good shape. Now, I've done one or two diamond dots before. Um, they're usually partials. I've, I've, I think I've seen maybe one full drill diamond dots, but usually the ones I see are partials. But I wanted to get this because I'm a big fan of peanuts. Sorry, I got my chroma sticker here. And I wanted to get it just because it's a cute little small kit. So let's take a look at it. We have our receipt there, or our instructions. I don't care about that. So let's roll this out. We're going to roll it the opposite way. Now, Diamond Dots is cord glue. Like I said, a lot of their kits are partials, which is fine with me. They're nice little snack kits for those in-between projects. And we're just rolling this the opposite way. It's a little crumpled with the plastic and everything, but I need it to lay flat. There we go. That's how you get your kit to lay flat, by the way. You just kind of roll it the opposite way. You can do it to both sides, because as you can see, this side is already starting to curl up. It is what it is at this point. So we're going to try to fix it. You can also try peeling the plastic back. Now question of the video. I don't do usually questions in unboxings unless it's like, do you like it or not? But uh, can you name the Peanuts characters? Put that down in the comments if you can. Bonus points if you can tell me what the bird's name was because I was like 20 something years old, like close to 30 when I realized what the, the bird's name was. So, and don't Google it, don't cheat. <laughs> so we have the Peanuts crew here. Now this kit looks to have nine colors. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the colors. So let's take a look here. I'm hoping there are ABs. I'm trying to like sneak a peek and see if there's ABs, but I don't see any yet. Anyways, so a Diamond Dots tool kit comes in this little bag and what you will get is a white pen, a caddy of Diamond Dots wax. You will also get a purple squishy I'm not seeing any multi-placers. You get this uh, gray boat with the funnel and you get some baggies. Not a bad tool kit. Could have had some multi-placers, but it is what it is. I don't like the opening of the pen like that. Like I don't like them to leave it just wide open like that. At least put some on it. <laughs> All right, so get rid of that tool kit. Y'all don't care about no tool kit. Let's take a look at the drills. It's nine colors. It's nine colors. You got this. So we have now, Diamond Dots has their own numbering system. So it literally, it just threw my brain for a loop just now. Because I was like, hold up, what the heck is this? So, because they have their own numbering system, it's A1, which is 8318. 8001, eight which is A2. 8358. My brain cannot handle these numbers. 8060. 
8395 81 8, 8133 y'all 8334 8171 and then 8411 now none of these look to be ab's or special gems or anything and i wouldn't expect it to have like a bunch of them but like for her feet or something or for like their socks you could do like a little bit of ab's if you wanted to do a charlie brown shirt or or lucy shirt or something just to make it pop a little bit more which there are actually two of the birds and oh i'm sorry i have you zoomed in still there are actually two of the birds in this picture so there's one here and then one here at the bottom but they're just walking through the schoolyard and i thought that was really really cute um, if you've never done a Diamond Dots or seen one before, it's on like a different type of canvas. Uh, their symbol clarity usually is really good. They are a really good company. Their kits can be a little expensive. And like I said, I got this one on sale at Joann's for 50% off on Black Friday. So uh, you may not see this on their website anymore. If you do, it might not be the same price that I had when I uh, was shopping for Black Friday. So there's that. But Symbol Clarity is there. The drills look really good. They are round. I don't know if Diamond Dots actually does square. If, if, if you know that answer, put it down in the comments so people can uh, know whether they do square or not. Because I don't think I've ever seen a square Diamond Dots. So there's that. So we're going to put this back in its bag. Luckily, it is labeled. So it does say Peanuts there. Lay Peanuts Gang. <laughs> So that's just a really cool little cute kit that I thought would be great for like the in-between projects. I do plan on doing this one probably after uh, I finish with my Bubblegum Girl because it is a nice, quick, simple project. So if you're looking for a simple project or you're new to diamond painting, check out Diamond Dots over at Joann's. I believe they might have them at Michael's. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have craft stores near me. So whenever I see uh, diamond painting that these stores go on sale, I usually try to grab one or two of them so I can show you guys. And if there's something cool like this so that I can do them. And you don't have to worry because they are legally licensed. So they do have a license with uh, Disney and Peanuts so that they can legally license this image. So you're not gonna have to worry about this being a stolen image as well. So with that said, let's move on to the next kit, shall we? So the next kit is going to be this. Look at how cute he is on his little house. And if you didn't know, my favorite flower is a tulip and that looks like a tulip to me. So it's called Dog House. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this one. I'm glad they have the sides taped up because uh, I would hate for like the side of it or the one side of it to get damaged or something or uh, I have ferrets so like I don't want the, the, the little furry ferrets to get a hold of it and they like to take my tool kits which is fine. I'm not sure what they're doing with them but you know it is what it is. So we have our drills, put that box off to the side. We have our canvas. And I'm wondering if this is the same size as that one, because that's actually a pretty nice size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right. It's a nice project that can take you like two or three days to complete. And you have this adorable little diamond painting. So for this next one, we have that like weird paper that you get sometimes in it. <laughs> we have our CVS receipt. And then we're going to roll this one backwards as well, because it's curling up pretty good. Now, the only issue I've ever had with any of the diamond dots that I've worked with and something you might have to watch out for is that their kits can be super staticky, meaning the drills can be super staticky. It could also be because of the weather where you're at um, or your house. So uh, if you run into the problem with static, just get yourself a dryer sheet, throw it in there like a grenade, let it sit for a few minutes, shake it around if you want to, and that should get rid of your static issue. So we're just kind of smooshing this a little bit just to get it to shape and to not roll up on us. Because this side for some reason is like really rolled. And unfortunately, because it is a partial, not all of it is tacky to kind of straighten it out to get it to stop doing that. It's the actual canvas itself. And if you run into a problem like this, one, I paid like next to nothing for this, which is uncommon for Diamond Dots because Diamond Dots, like I said, they can be a little pricey sometimes. So uh, I'm not gonna complain about like a little bit of bump bunching like that. 
you just lay it under something heavy for about 24 to 48 hours and that'll get rid of it as well. Um, I would not suggest ironing them. Uh, maybe if you did on a low setting, but I wouldn't suggest it just because I don't know how these kind of kits would react to that. So I wouldn't suggest it. Just lay it under something heavy. Be patient and let it flatten itself out or leave it out like this with something on top of it to keep that down and that should help flatten it as well. But as you can see, isn't that adorable? It's so cute. All right, I wanna make sure you can see this whole like adorableness. So, what you're drilling on this one is the sun, the clouds, the flower, whatever this is above the flower, <laughs> the grass, the doghouse, and Snoopy himself. This again, it's called doghouse. And I will go back and give you the, the details of the other image. This image, uh, it also at the bottom here, it gives you the design size and the fabric size. Um, it tells you what it is in inches and centimeters because usually in diamond painting we go by centimeters and then it does it in inches as well if you want to say frame this. Um, so the design size, like the actual part that you're diamond painting is going to be this first number, the second number, the 47.37 um, by 38.48 centimeters is going to be the actual kit itself. So it says the fabric size, which is the, the entire kit. And then it tells you like the size if you want to get a frame or stretcher bars or what have you gives you the name of the kit here which is doghouse and it also has it and looks like maybe spanish don't quote me on that either um and it that's probably just a product number there on the side so as you can see again really clear symbols nothing too too extravagant there the symbol clarity is there this kit has eight colors so that's awesome Again, you're getting the same toolkit. And then we have our drills. So we have 8,001, 8016, 8016 again, so double trouble there. 8066, 8194, 8212, 8313, 8122, and 8411. For those drills and again they're not ABs just a couple of nice bright this is reminds me of like more of a springy type canvas so let me straighten you guys up there you're all cattywampus so we have black and pink and darker pink and green and a lighter green and a yellow and a blue and a white and it has the eight colors now we're gonna bring out this other kit again so I can tell you the dimensions and stuff of this one because I completely forgot so on this one, if we look down here at the bottom, push you over a little bit, the design size, the fabric size, this one is called the Peanuts Gang. That is the model number, I guess, for it, because the other one is 2020, 2028. This one is 2027. These were the only two peanut ones I saw on the site, so I had to get them, I'm because again, I'm a huge peanut fan. Love me some Snoopy. So yes, there you have it. We have our tiny little haul, <laughs> teeny tiny microscopic haul from Diamond Dots. Um, again, I do plan on working on these kits in between projects. So if you would like to see them done, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell to be notified whenever I put up a video because it is completely random. But with that said, folks, I have to get out of here. Thank you again so much for watching. If you have any questions about these kits, please leave those down in the comment section below. Um, real quick, it didn't take them very long to get here. I ordered them Black Friday and they were here uh, the following, I want to say Thursday or Friday. So it didn't take them that long to get here. I, like I said, I paid next to nothing for them because they were on sale for 50% off during the Black Friday sale. And I'm very happy with my purchase, I have to say. So whenever, since I don't live next to a craft store, I usually have to buy offline. And I was very happy with my experience and the canvases themselves look great. Um, like I said, I'm going to put this under something heavy so it can flatten itself out. So it's nice and flat for whenever I do plan on doing it. But that's it for me again today, folks. Stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face in public, keep your six feet, and always trot. Be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.